Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, grace and peace be with you. Further to my letter dated October 3rd, I now share with you the name of your new parish and share that I've also this week issued the parish deed of erection. Clearly, much discernment has gone into the choice of a new parish name. From 65 names submitted by members of the five parishes, the renewal team and ministerial were able to narrow the choice to five. The ministerial team then shared five excellent video reflections on each of those names. A tabulated overview was compiled, recording the names you felt either very strongly, strongly, or moderately in favour of, as well as recording the names you were not in favour of. The naming of a parish is a very important task, and I was requested to make the final choice from the five names submitted. Two names stood out, both receiving the top two in favour votes and the same smallest score in the not in favour column. After much prayer, I felt drawn to the name Emmanuel with an I, the direct translation of the Hebrew text meaning God with us from Isaiah 7.14 and Matthew 1.23. Both the I and E forms of Emmanuel were submitted, but as the E Emmanuel is a translation of a translation, I decided upon I Emmanuel. Chose this in order to be true both to the direct translation of the Hebrew and to differentiate from other churches and from our seminary named Emmanuel with St Chad in Saskatoon. In all of this process, we have perceived that this journey is a holy call upon a holy people to birth in our midst a new church. We have recognised that the Emmanuel, God, has been with us on this journey most evident in the unanimous decision by your diocesan council last Saturday. Equally, we remember well our scriptures of the prophetic call announcing the one to be born, Emmanuel. May we all continue to witness God with us as we welcome the birth of the new church, Emmanuel, in our midst. Humble shepherds, often outcasts of their society, yet heralded by angels, were the first to be invited to see and to bear witness to the Emmanuel. The Magi, outsiders from other lands, an unknown number, were also drawn together to come and see and to share their gifts with the Emmanuel. The emerging vision of your new parish is that regardless of anyone's present circumstances, you are to be welcoming and inclusive of all, in a place where all gifts can be offered and received in the service of the Emmanuel, the babe of Bethlehem, Jesus. In my prayerful discernment, I saw further confirmation of the choice of this new name. Change is at the heart of the arrival of the Emmanuel. The Magnificat and the Benedictus are evidence of that. Change that even meant that the Holy Family had to leave the comfort of a home and seek refuge in a strange place until it was safe to furnish a new home in Nazareth. At this defining moment, as you are called to journey from the spiritual homes that have birthed or nurtured you, I pray you will all embrace the call of Emmanuel the call to change, that in faithfulness to the vision you receive, many will be welcomed and experience the birth of the Saviour in their lives. As I said in my last letter last weekend, the days ahead will indeed have their challenges. But take courage. God believes in you and God has called you for such a time as this. Remember our God, Emmanuel, is with you. Therefore, it's my prayer that you will birth and welcome in your midst this new parish church and always be mindful of the call upon you. The Diocese of Coppell, 
and the angels of heaven celebrate this news with you this day and will continue to pray for you. God bless you all in the parish of Emmanuel, Regina. And I am always your servant in Christ. Thank you.